STEM scholars. I'm Dr. Christopher, and I'm so excited to talk to you today about heat transfer. Have you ever taken a cold drink out of the refrigerator and then maybe left it on the counter for a couple of hours? I bet when you come back to the drink, it's not as cold as it was when you took it out of the refrigerator. So why is that? Well, the study in science of heat transfer explains all of this. You see, when something cold is next to something that is hot, the heat leaves the hot thing and moves to the cold thing. That's a transfer of heat energy. Today's experiment is pretty simple, but it's gonna take some time. It's about an hour activity. You'll find in your STEM kit the lab uh, chart that you're gonna be filling out every five minutes. So be sure to have a pencil or pen to uh, work with, as well as something to time um, your measurements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take cold water, this has ice in it, and we're gonna put it into three different types of cups. A styrofoam cup, a glass cup, this is actually a jar, and a metal cup. Now these are three different types of materials. And that's another type of science, just material science. We're gonna see which one of these cups is the best insulator. You're going to use a thermometer, put one in each cup. Today, when we take our measurements, we're gonna use the Celsius scale. There's a Fahrenheit and a Celsius side to the thermometer. Be sure to read under the Celsius. Now you might be more familiar with Fahrenheit because we often use that to measure air temperature in the United States. But around the world, Celsius is more often to be used, so we're gonna stick with Celsius for today. So, you're gonna allow the um, thermometers to kind of acclimate to where they are, and then you're going to make a reading of each thermometer on your lab sheet. So I'm gonna take the first one, and I'm gonna put the temperature measurement on it. The glass one. And then the styrofoam. They all start out about the same. Now I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes and I'm gonna check back in five minutes to see what the temperature is in each cup. So it's been an hour and you have your measurements on your lab sheet. What did you observe about the three different containers and their ability to hold the heat, the cold in these containers? An insulator prevents heat from leaving something. It doesn't allow a lot of heat transfer. So of these three different types of containers, which one was the best insulator? I'm not gonna share my results. I'm gonna let you finish the activity on your own. However, when you're done, I have an activity for you to do using something you might like. In your STEM kit, you may have noticed there was like an ice pop. You have to freeze this in order for this activity to, uh, to complete this activity. So freeze your ice pop. So once your ice pop is frozen, the next thing I want you to do is use the container that your STEM kit came in to try to create a very well insulated um, container for the, your ice pop so that it doesn't melt. What your challenge is, is to use any supplies you have around the house, along with some additional supplies that were included in your STEM kit, to try to package your ice pop in a way to keep it cold very long. In fact, we'd like for you to try to keep it cold for three hours, so it's quite a challenge. Some of the uh, items that are in your STEM kit that you might want to use, I've got some styrofoam packing peanuts, there's some cotton balls. You can use that if you find that to be a good insulator. But again, you can use anything around your house. 
Um, another thing you will find in your STEM kit are just some empty baggies, and it might seem strange, like why are there empty baggies in here? But you might be able to create something similar to this packaging, because air actually is a pretty good insulator, and so um, and it prevents heat from transferring. So once you're done packaging your ice uh, pop, you're gonna put it in the box and you're gonna let it sit for three hours. Come back after three hours and see if your ice pop is still frozen. Hopefully it is and you can go ahead and eat it. If not, you might wanna freeze it again and try again. Well, that's all for today. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see you again. Goodbye.